Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 274. That is, what is condition coverage? Let me answer. So what is condition coverage? So condition coverage comes under code coverage. So before understanding the condition coverage, we have to first understand the code coverage. So what is code coverage? Code coverage is nothing but measuring the amount of source code or program code that is written for building the software is tested or not, okay? So how much amount of source code of the software is tested if you are measuring, that is called as code coverage. Sometimes you can call it as how much uh, amount of source code source code of the software is executed or tested, okay? Measuring the amount of source code of the software that is tested or executed is called as code coverage. And it falls under the white box because uh, here code is visible while measuring the amount of the source code of the software that is tested or executed, okay? Code is visible, hence it falls into the white box testing category. And since we are measuring how much amount of source code of the software is tested or executed, indirectly, we are also measuring how much gap is left which areas of the software the source code is not tested or executed also can be found, right? So if there is a gap or if you find some areas of the software where the code coverage has not been done, then the only solution there is to, we have to increase the number of tests, okay? We have to increase the number of tests or inputs using which uh, more amount of the code in the software will be covered, executed or tested, okay? So to perform that, to, to, uh, to create more tests, to increase the code coverage, there are different techniques. There are different techniques. We call them as structured-based test design techniques, okay? So under test design techniques, there are three types of test design techniques. One is black box test design techniques. Then we have experienced-based test design techniques. And uh, another one is structured-based, that is a white box, right? Structured-based is design techniques, okay? This is the last category. Under the last category, we have different techniques which can be used for measuring the code coverage. What are those techniques? The techniques are statement coverage, branch coverage, path coverage, and condition coverage. Statement coverage, branch coverage, and path coverage, I already covered in the previous sessions. Now, in this session, I'm going to answer about the condition coverage, okay? I'm going to answer about the condition coverage. So what is condition coverage? Understand this condition coverage in the form of theoretical format first. As part of condition coverage, we are going to test all the condition expressions in the program, okay? How many condition expressions are there in the program? For example, example for the condition expression is if in the circular bracket, if you, if you know Java, if circular brackets, in between the circular bracket, whatever the condition you are putting, right? Condition expression, that is called as condition expression, okay? And in that condition expression, okay, in that condition expression, there can be only one possible outcome of condition or multiple possible outcomes can be there. In a single condition expression, you can have multiple outcomes possible, okay? You can use and operator, or operator, and divide the multiple condition outcomes like that, okay? I'll give you an example so that you'll understand. So as part of condition coverage, we have to test the possible outcomes of each and every condition that is there in each and every condition expression of the program. Okay, this theoretical thing may look uh, difficult to understand, but now I'm going to give an example. So with that, it will be very easy for you to understand, guys. Let's say, let's take this program, guys. So here I'm calling, this is a Java code, and here I'm calling this method with some values, right? With some values, I'm calling this method. Just understand condition coverage now. So here, there is only one condition expression. This is called as condition expression, guys. In this condition expression, how many con possible condition outputs are there? one possible output either it can output as true or false and another possible output that is c greater than d it also can return in true or false you can have any number of possible outcomes for example you can say uh, b uh, b b less than c like this also you can write okay now how many possible outcomes are there of the condition possible or uh, condition output uh, outcomes are there one possible uh, condition outcome second possible condition output outcome third possible condition outcome total becomes a condition expression. This all becomes a condition expression, okay? So here in a program, in this example, only one condition expression is there. In some other programs, there can be multiple condition expressions. In that multiple condition expressions, 
multiple possible condition outcomes can be there here three possible condition outcomes are there okay uh, but this example has only two i just uh, for demonstration purpose i increased one now so here we have to test each and every condition out outcome okay how to how to test the condition outcomes in this condition expression uh, this condition can be true this condition can also be true that is one one case one case second one this condition can be true second condition can be false second case first condition can be false but second condition can be true third case this condition can be false and last condition also can be false fourth case so four four tests we have to write okay in order to complete the condition coverage 100% condition coverage if you want 100% condition coverage if you want okay each and every combination you have to test true to true false false true false false you have to check okay in this example this is called as condition coverage okay there are other names for condition coverage the other names for the condition coverage are or we can also called call the condition coverage as expression coverage or predicate coverage okay there are other names for this condition coverage known as expression and predicate coverage so hope guys you understood what is condition coverage in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye